Hey, what is up, all you leakers out there? This is Dark Leaker Alexis, back at it once again with my reactions. Well, not only the Brain Leak episode that just happened last week, but we got some big news coming into play. I just found, well, everybody knows by now, that Sean himself has just created a comic book based, it's called the, based around Jackie Boy and Marvin the Magnific Magnificent. It's called the Ultraverse. Um, he has a bunch of people helping him with the comic book. Um, it's coming out, pre pre-order is coming out in four days. So if you want a copy, go pre-order it. Um, I absolutely adore the covers that they, they did. Um, they're, they're fantastic. Um, I like the look that they, they came up for Jackie Boy. The, the look from Marvin. Oh, Marvin's is so good. Um, I read some of, uh, a little bit of the lore behind both. Jackie's is kind of sad, in a way. And Marvin's is kind of like, ooh, kind of an edgy kind of lore background story. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, you guys should too. If you're a, if you're a big fan of the egos, like I am, I'm the ego theorist. Go check those out. And the official date for the Ultraverse comic books are coming out November 22nd of this year. So, yours truly will be getting, a cop get, getting the copies. On to exciting news number two. Um, Markiplier has just released his trailer, movie trailer for his movie called Iron Lung. Now that is so good. He did a, just a fantastic job. The shots in it were so good. All the Markiplier fans, including myself, are still gushing over how good the shots are in that trailer. It's, it's, oh, it's so good. Um, uh, exciting news number three. Brain Lake episode. Um... <laughs> We're talking about stuff that comes off, they're leaking off their head. Whatever comes to their head, they leak out through their mouth. That's why they're called brain leak. Um, uh, my favorite horror movies. Okay, here's my favorite horror movies. My top five. So, it's Paranormal Activity. I've seen the first one. It's really good. I've seen it with my younger sister. So, it's really good. Take it from me. It's really good. Scary as well, heck. Um, second one is The Exorcist. I did see it when I was a teenager. I was 14 or 15 at the time. I saw it with my ex-boyfriend. Past ex-boyfriend. Three is Ghost Ship. That will make you have to, you would have to use your brains to figure out with, 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 with what's going on. Who's the bad guy and stuff like that. It's kind of like the video game Madame Madame, but the shots in it are so good. The way they have it all set up, it's good. Um, fourth, I wouldn't technically call this one a horror movie, but I, it's to me, it's my favorite. Um, Blade, the first and the third one are the favorites I have. It's a vampire movie. It's really good. It's got Wesley Snipes in it, in all three parts. Um, it's really good. I did not know. That. And then the third movie. It's got Ryan Reynolds in it. I did not know that till I sat back and watched it again. Um, it's really good. Um, and let's say fifth one is Queen of the Dam. It's a about a rock star. Um, his name is Lestat. It's got the R&B singer Aaliyah, R.I.P. For her, so good. Um, they were talking about the. Five Nights at Freddy movie that's coming out this month on October 27th and yours truly will be doing a review on the movie because I get to see it on Peacock except for going to the movies, the theaters. So just take Ethan's advice if you want to. Um, Again, I will give my point of my thoughts on the whole movie. Uh, I feel now Gaelic will do the same with hers her thoughts and reactions to the whole movie. So look for those. If you haven't subscribed to hers, 
go do so. And you have to scrub the mine. What are you waiting for? Go do it. <sighs> um, and they were talking about BB. I feel that cat has been through so, 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 so much. I feel when I heard that he had to go back in for, they couldn't have him for four nights, four nights and five days. I'm like, oh. um, his girlfriend, Evelyn, was the one that took him, and they were just like, oh, anxious. Um, so, with both of them having ADHD, Sean did what ADHD people should do best, is keep your brain, keep your mind preoccupied, is that exactly what he did? He didn't work all week, that's because of BB. Um, I have a, a cat, um, she's um, 10 years old, her name is Stephanie, She um, she's disabled. Um, when she was born, she got the umbilical cord, this might um, get too gross, so skip through this if you don't want to hear this um she had her umbilical cord wrapped around her paw so it had to be like cut in other words so she's she's a stumpy she's a stumpy little girl but i still love my kitty i've been a cat mom since since i was little i grew up with cats so i can relate to what sean and evelyn are going through um, I think that's, thankfully, that's about it for the Brain Lake news. <laughs> On to a bit of, a bit of, you say news number four. Um, if you guys don't know who these guys are, their names are Dan and Phil. Um, they had a channel a long time ago, actually. Um, I've never heard of them, my sister, my younger sister has, though she's been watching YouTube before I have, um, back in the day. Um, then she got, she got me hooked on to it, so... That's for a different story, a different time. So she told me about Dan and Phil. So when I saw that Dan and Phil games are coming back, they come back from the dead. So I'm like, um, okay, I'll check it out. Let's check the video out to see what it is. And all the behold, Sean himself dressed up as a priest in the video. As a priest. As kind of like to mourn like the lost or to bury the channel in other words but it wasn't to bury the channel there are a long hiatus or hiatus as Sean would put it um the it was really good the the shots were good he he was so good as the priest I'm not gonna lie that Sean did look really 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 handsome as a priest you know he's known as Father Jack so I, I, I really like the character he put on. Dan and Phil did such an amazing job as well. Um, but also, PJ was part of it because he did the setup, like the cat, casket setup for it. It was really good. Um, I think that PJ was the, the person that, come, that was coming out of it. That was there was a character part of Dan and Phil's uh, Sim series. I can think of who he was playing. So if you haven't checked out Danny Phil's games, go and subscribe to them as well. Um, I think that's just about it. I will, yet again, give my thoughts and theories, or, well, reactions to Brain Lake's episode that's coming up in two days. I will do that. Again, Ultraverse comic book pre-order sales are coming out in four days. The comic books themselves are coming out November 22nd, so go check that out. And I will see all you leakers and ego theorists in the next video.